we have examined or we examine past this present tense. Okay, so it is very important. Most of the journals in accounting and finance, the acceptance rate is very low. It's quite low. In accounting acceptance rate, top quality journals now were around 10%. So Peter Weisen, two AOS published, it's about the uh, journal acceptance and all these things. You see, 90% papers are rejected by journals, top quality journals. Okay? So it's to be there every time, beating 90% and getting to the 10% is very tough. You see, in accounting review, acceptance rate 10.4. Okay? 2014, 10.3. So the acceptance rate is very, very low. So when you get rejected, don't be that frustrated. You are one of the 90%, okay? But that doesn't, mean, that doesn't give you satisfaction. Failure means failure, no? Not because one person does. But we say, oh, all right. Sometimes we give and uh, take consolation out of the okay. It's, it's very hard, 10%. So that is quite an uh, important thing to consider as well. So uh, outcome, tax rejection. The next uh, tax reject, mostly for not meeting the criteria or focus of the journal, not making contribution for the return. Most of the time, you get a tax stock rejection. There are a number of them. It doesn't fit. I, I, I had a uh, um, co-author, a uh, Malaysian co-author, he did PhD with me, and he wanted that paper to be published in a British journal, um, Financial Management and Account, Financial Accounting within Management Company. So it, we got the desktop rejection, right? And within, within uh, overnight, in the morning, I got that rejection. So I said, okay, I'm not interested. Uh, Malaysian local local. So I said, okay, Nelson, don't worry. Uh, we submitted to International Journal of Public Sector Management. So International Journal means anything, you know, international Malaysia. So the journal is based in UK, Malaysia international context. So they are interested. So ultimately. It was accepted after a couple of iterations. Reject after review. You sometimes, uh, you know, you tell also the why uh, uh, it was rejected. You know, editor might consider, but the the uh, likelihood is pretty low. You know, once editor makes the decision, likelihood that editor will not. But sometimes we try. Uh, and then, um, uh, for the sake of time, it is not good to resend the same paper. Many people do this mistake. You know, once you get the rejection from journal, and you send it to another journal without making any change. And that happened with me because I rejected a paper I reviewed for that journal, and then. Another journal said, come around, there is a paper. Um, I'm sending it to you for uh, kindly help us review this paper. I said, I reject this paper. There was no changes, nothing else, no correction. The reason is that academic members who are willing to do review, there are not many. So most likelihood that if it is a disclosure paper or it's a corporate reporting paper, likelihood that it will come to me or some of my colleagues who are in that area, or who has published in that journal, right? So we said it will be very difficult. So, you know, take time, make a change. Okay, revise and resubmit. 
good news to start with, but no guarantee or assurance that paper will be accepted ultimately. So revising is a good news, but not a guarantee. It's when you get the letter, you will see editors, specifically some journals, editors specifically write there is no guarantee. But they will consider if you work really hard to convince the, the reviewer. Do you show the reports to your colleagues, friends? What do you do? We tend to be secret. Oh, got the rejection. Why should I show it to them? Because it will create a bad name for my reputation. You know I mean? But if you have really trusted friends, uh, sometimes even not within your discipline, another discipline. And I, I have, I'm very lucky. I have few friends in my university. Department, I share with them, all right, and know that they will not, you know, let other people know the government got a rejection. So at the same time, he gives his paper to me, and I look at it. Never just zip, okay? Don't because it creates some sort of, you know, <laughs> reputational damage, you know. Uh, but this is the fact of life. So you have to have this. That's why research team is quite important. You can look at this one. Yes or no depends on you. To some, showing detailed report to seminar participant and ask for further suggestion. Some discuss with your senior colleague and get guidance confidentially. Okay? So that is the part of their process. Um, overall, do the best you can to satisfy reference. Sometimes it is okay to say no to some suggestions, but this has to be based on sound reasoning. Okay? So we have a paper in one of the um, reported journal, um, and one reference says the data outdated and should not be accepted. So other re uh, reference says other issues, but did not uh, raise the data issue. So we had to. Uh, so we did everything as part the reverse concern, but we said no, the data collection is not possible because this and that, and there are few um, journals, publication in high quality journals like accounting review. So okay, it, um, those articles have six or seven years, eight years lapse, all right? So, so, and then the same reviewer accepted. Says okay, I, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right? So, you know, not necessarily that you have to uh, comply with everything. You try your best and show that you are really sincere in, you know, addressing those concerns. Okay? So whether it's data collection, some reviewers will stick with that, then it, it is unlucky. We were lucky in the sense that the reviewer did not stick with the first um, opinion that data has, has to be updated. Because, but we wrote about half pages, about eight or nine top quality publications, and the lag about seven, eight years. Because we say this hand collected data is not downloadable. I can't really download in one hour and update, you know? It's not. It's because it is about political collection, and you have to read all annual report, website, who is doing what, the director's profile, and this and that, you know? So you, you, you have to write that, sorry, I can't do that. This is the reason. Uh, so the review process usually takes three to six months. And of course, uh, be patient. And the review process can take a considerable amount of time. So sometimes um, once you submit and within 15 days, oh, what's going on with my paper? <laughs> it's not the case, OK? So I know that department has some pressure. Uh, and you feel pressurized and want to get the, uh, you know, as a result, sometimes we undersell our paper, okay? We, boom, it, and some journals uh, say, okay, we'll do it in one week. And, and then, after a while, you realize, oh, the paper was really good. I should have tried a better journal. Okay, so they come. But it is okay to give a reminder after three months, what's going on. And it happened with uh, one of our paper, 
only um, last week. Um, and is it in part about the paper, what's going on? It's already four months. 